Hello, welcome to Star Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have John 14, 18. He will not leave you comfortless. He will come to you. Just relying on God. I'm kind of feeling like a slacker this week. I don't know. Um, so just, I don't know, just in a flaw mood and just, uh, it's too hot outside. It's horrible. So we'll get right into it and then I'll tell you what else is going on. So um, I don't have anything off the hook. I have been working not diligently um, on this. I have... I don't even know that I've done a whole row on it, to be honest with you. Um, but it's getting there. It's getting there. So, yeah. We'll see. I've still, I'm still. i just going to take the white and finish out these rounds like this and maybe put an edge on it with some color. And I don't know what I'll do from there. But we'll see how it goes. I like it. It's coming along. Um, the one that I probably work the most on, oh, and I just want the tail. That's okay. Is the Round the World Inspired Blanket. I have the white all done. Yes. And it is taking longer to do each round because you have to have more. And then I got the one purple one attached. And so now I've got the purple one to do down here. Once I get to the blue again, so I've been doing, I started with blue and I had white, purple, pink, and then blue. So when I get the white, purple, when I get the purple and the pink round done, then I'm going to turn it this way and finish it out to make it square. So this will actually be the top. So, yeah, but I still have the purple and the pink to go. Yeah. It's getting there. It is getting there. I don't know how big it'll be when I'm done because I'm not measuring it really. I just, we'll see how long it is, I guess. Um, whenever I turn it this way, will be as long as it is. So it's probably going to be, you know, a decent sized blanket just to throw around, not really a um, bed spread or anything, but just a nice warm up kind of blanket. So, um, I have put in a little bit of time on that one. They're just mindless, mindless knits, as you all call them. I say mindless crochets, but, um, yeah, it is what it is. So, that really is all I've been working on. I haven't, um, even gone back into the sewing room. Matter of fact, I was going to clean it up a little bit today because it looked horrible. Uh, but... It's been so hot outside that it just makes you blah. It makes you not want to do anything, um, inside or out. Everything you do takes it out of you, you know? Uh, so I haven't really been that crafty inspired. And I know you guys have those weeks that you just don't want to do anything or you feel like you want to get stuff done, but you just don't feel like you have enough time or, you know, it, things just don't go the way you want. You know, there, there's some weeks that you're super crafty and then there's other weeks that you just go, nope, didn't do anything. That's my slacking week right now. So I haven't done a whole lot. Matter of fact, I'm even a two days late podcasting. I normally podcast on Tuesday. This is Thursday morning. Everything is just pushed back a little bit. So I don't know. It, it's just one of those things that we all know it happens. You know, that there's weeks where you just don't want to do stuff. You just don't feel up to it. I call them my blah weeks. Um, and and this, this is one of those weeks. I'm just, uh, I walked away from the sewing and... I haven't really felt the urge to get back in there. I love sewing. I love crochet, but I just haven't felt that, um, want to, if that makes sense. So 
anytime I have to do something outside, it just drains me. <laughs> and I don't want to do anything. Um, and it just, it's been that way. There is one thing that um, I'll let you all in on. This week I got my uh, parasol. It's varicosal. I, I don't know how to say it. But I got it and the cream. And for those who don't know, um, it is for varicose veins. I have I have had really bad veins. Um, I had a dog bite on my leg um, when I was probably 14, 15. And it started, it turned purple there. And the veins were yucky then. And so I've had them since I was a teenager. Later in life, I got kicked in the shin. And those veins are, you know, it's just like a, you can see all the little veins. It looks like a road map. And then after I had my daughter, of course, they look horrible. So with this new job, I'm sitting a lot and I have one behind my knee that is just, ugh. so uh, anyway, I did some research and found that this company makes the cream from the, the that does the outside and the vitamins to the inside. And what I liked about this is it's got stuff like witch hazel and, and uh, just, what's the other one that's there, you know, uh, horse, horse chestnut, witch hazel. Um, it's made with natural stuff, it, no chemicals. Um, I say no chemical. I don't know that there's no chemicals. The stuff that was listed was all plants that I knew and stuff like that. So I'm trying it and it seems to be, the only way I can put it is the ones on the back of my legs that hurt after sitting a while don't seem to be so angry. But I have only been doing this since Saturday. So I don't know if it's just in my mind that it doesn't seem like they're so angry or if it's working. I want to give it um, a couple of weeks and see. And then after that, I should just be able to do maintenance and keep them. Um, that'd be great if they just go away and, and, you know, not be seen at all. I don't know that that's going to happen, but if they're not hurting me, I'm okay with that. So, and I do have the ones that are behind my knees that are really puffy and hurt. You know, they pinch in the chair kind of thing. And so I've been trying to do that. And they do recommend you doing it three times a day. Take the vitamins, two capsules, three times a day. And then this three times a day. Now, my problem with that is, is that for three jars of each, it was $144 plus shipping and healing. It came to like $152. If you break that down, okay, it... It's, you know, it seems more affordable if you only do one. Or, but if you buy a single, you don't get that price. So um, there's 44 capsules or 45 capsules in this bottle. If you're taking two a day, this bottle will last you a week. I've been doing this four days, and I know it's because of how much I've been doing it. And I don't know if you can see in there, but it's down to, like, right here. And... So cost effectiveness, don't know um, if it works well worth it because my doctor said I might actually hit, we'll have to have surgery on this one back here. That's really bad. And I don't want that. I never want to go. I would much rather find a solution that is less invasive than surgery. So, um, I have been doing that and I will update you on whether it worked. Like I said, right now they seem to be less angry. I think that's the cream making them less angry. Um, I am taking the vitamins and we'll see if they get better. I definitely will tell you if it stays the same, doesn't work, whatever. And I'll just kind of update you as you go. Cause at this point, you know, we're talking, it came Saturday. Today's Thursday. I took my pills this morning and did my cream. So four days isn't really enough to tell. 
boy, I wish it was. And I'd be doing a great review, wouldn't I? Woo! Yeah. So I need to give it some time and then I'll update you a little later to let you know whether it actually worked or not and to what degree. So, uh, but let's see, anything else is going, really the, the, uh, garden, I can't even think of the word. Oh my goodness. My sinuses are draining too. Uh, the garden is doing, it, it's not, it's not great, but it's doing. We get a few tomatoes, a few cucumbers, some okra. The bugs get most of it before I get it brought in because the minute, like right before it turns ripe, bugs are on it. So I haven't gotten any bell peppers. I've grown plenty for the bugs. Um, I've gotten probably four or five tomatoes, large cucumbers. Cucumbers, they, they're eating the leaves, but not really the cucumbers themselves. So um, gotten some cucumbers, been having salads a lot, um, throwing just some meat in it. It's just too hot to eat anything hot. Um, roommate and I have been taking the weekend and cooking everything so that during the week we can just microwave it because we don't want to heat up the house. <laughs> yeah, that's tacky. Um, roommate has also been having some, uh, stress on the job kind of thing. And so it's just been one of those weeks where roommates having some stress. I'm just blah. I know it's called life, but Hey, it happens. And I don't know, just a funk, you know, funk kind of come over us. And, and I've had those podcasts before where I've told you, you know, I'm just in a funk or whatever. Um, and, and I'm not in a bad mood. That's the thing is I'm not in a bad mood. I'm just not motivated. And to me, that's a funk. I am one of those people that's always up, always doing, always thinking, always in motion. And for me to feel like I've been non-productive, I mean, laundry's done, the dishes are done, the house is clean. I mean, it's not like we're just sitting here letting the dust clutter. Um, it just, we're just not very motivated to get anything extra done. So we are living life, but we're not going that extra mile or, you know, above and beyond as they say. And I don't know. I always feel disappointed in myself when I'm not motivated. It, I don't know. I, I just always have something going on. Um, it, I'm not one to just sit and watch TV. I have to have something that I'm doing. If I'm sitting, I have to be active. I have to be productive. It's just my personality. And this week I am not. Um, I think we're on like two weeks, at least two and a half weeks of, um, temperatures over a hundred outside. The backyard, I, okay, so another thing that I did do is when I come in from work, I've started watering the front yard so that the dogs have some place to, like, play outside. Not that they play very much outside, but the backyard is all crunchy. Everything is burnt up. There's big cracks across it. It's brown. When you walk on it, it's dead and crunchy. Um, the only thing still alive is where I've been watering the garden and where I've taken to watering the front yard. Now, my thought was, is that it went a month without any rain. So I watered it really good for about four or five days. Got it all greened up. And now I'm hoping I don't have to water for about another month. Um, it lasted that I'll watch it. And if it starts to die again, I will water it again. I don't want to be out there watering all the time. Um, I am definitely a conserved water person. And during drought, I don't need to be adding to the problem. Um, 
So, you know, some places have put on burn bands and watering bands and all this stuff. So I don't want to add to that, but I definitely want the dogs to have some place that they can play and that they can be a dog. So uh, it it is what it is, and I get that, but I do think that they need that um, outside green area. So I've definitely taken to watering and doing for them. Um, it consists of like, I think I watered the first couple of days, almost 30 minutes before it started looking normal. So, and I did it about four days in a row. I think I started that last Friday, Thursday or Friday. And then last night, of course, I didn't walk. I've right done like a week and it's greened up. It's like a yard and the dogs are happy. So, <laughs> you know, hey, I'm just saying. I don't think I'd want to have to go outside and poop on burn up ground anyway. So, <laughs> anyway, but that's really RJ, the same thing. He is rodeoing, doing, um, He's dealing with the insurance on that truck. Just life. You know, nothing spectacular, nothing to write home about, so you say, you know. Um, but just too hot to be out. He is getting up early in the mornings. He starts at the break of dawn. By the time it heats up into the 90s, he's done in the house, and then he'll take a nap, and then he'll get up when it starts to cool off, and he'll do stuff later in the evening. So that's kind of farm life because you can't work horses in the heat like this. So. But other than that, I just been hanging out, going to work, coming home, um, keeping the house cleaned up. It's not great, but it's not dirty. It's not, you know, just another non-motivated week, I guess. So, oh, well, but the ducks are doing good. Dogs are doing good. Uh, the pond is really low. I was hoping to get out there this week and um, pull some sticks and stuff out of there, but there's a bunch of fallen branches in that that need to come out, and with the pond as low as it is, I can get out there with a rake on the edge and get all the ones that are around the edge where the trees have dropped them. I just haven't done it. Big plans, no motivation. That's my problem this week. So if anybody has any motivative words to get me going again, that doesn't involve 110, 111 degrees. I, I'm not kidding, you guys. It is 7 a.m. and it is already 80 some degrees. Um, the lows have been maybe in the 70s. If we're lucky, there was one morning I got up and it was so nice. Oh my goodness. Today I get up and it's not one of those days. So just get me motivated. Show me what you're doing. Um, motivate me to do something. <laughs> That's horrible, but it is what it is. But all right. Oh, there is one other exciting thing I can tell you. Really exciting. It's just funny. Um, worm has discovered ice water. So I've been putting out cause that's how hot it's been. And I'm talking about putting ice in their water in the house. They don't like stay outside unattended. Okay. They're kind of spoiled, but I put some ice water in there and worm has the first evening roommate and I got such a kick out of him because he would go get a piece of ice and he'd bring it down to the den and he'd crunch it into bits and then his mouth would get cold. So he'd take his blankie and he'd take his nose and he'd put it over his blankie thinking he'd come back to it. And so when he'd go back to the blanket, it'd be gone. And he would take that blanket, flip it around, and he'd find the wet spot. And he would be furious because there was no ice. And he'd go get another one and he'd do it again. And it was absolutely funny. I know I shouldn't laugh at him. And I kept trying to tell him that it would melt, but I don't think he understands the concept of ice melts. So he started hoarding it 
and I didn't really want it on the carpet, so I picked up parts. And at one point, he had a little pile, and roommate's like, look, the carpet's old. Just let him have some fun. Um, so we did, <laughs> and he had a little pile of ice, and he crunch, 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 crunch. And then he had a little pile of ice, and then, yeah, it melted away. And he tried at one point carrying it in his mouth. So he'd get one piece and carry it in his mouth and carry it around the house. But then his mouth would get cold. So you'd see him with his mouth open, and he'd have little white ice out it. And then he would drop it. And then he'd wait, and you'd see him. And then he'd pick it back up. And then it'd be cold again, and he'd put it back down. And, of course, at times, he could hold it in his mouth longer when he first did it than as it progressed. Because, you know, once your mouth is cold and you're adding cold to it, it stays cold. He was hilarious. And he tried to find places to hide it. Um, like I said, he put it under his blanket and it disappeared. He thought somebody had taken it. He was mad. Um, but... And he doesn't just grab the piece of ice off the top. He puts his whole nose down in the bowl and blows bubbles out his nose. So he's like snorkeling for them. It's hilarious to watch him with ice. And he just gets over it and guards it. Like he, he doesn't really crunch the ice. He, he likes the ice. And every once in a while he'll eat a piece. But he eats it over the bowl like it's dinner. And then he uh, guards it. He, he wants the cold water. He's not the ice freak. Worm, on the other hand, is an ice freak, and he loves the ice. So, yeah, that was amusing. Still not much motivated, but hey. Matter of fact, they're both here. Neither of them are motivated. They go outside, they go potty. There's not been any nights of zoomies, um, which is when Worm just kind of, you know, he's not had that. He just, it's too hot. So, too hot for much of anything. But I think the, the heat has taken my motivation. I don't know. I need to get it back. I need to get on track and get some things done. So, I hope your week is more motivated than mine has been. And I hope that you guys are having a great summer. Uh... I'm going to wrap up and just say thanks for watching. Y'all are in our prayers. Bye.